Good morning and welcome to today's edition of Tuesday Morning News. Today's video will be prompt as we only have two items to discuss. The October checklists are already out in schools, however, our office has made a few changes and we'd like to go over those changes with you. On your October 30th, 2015 checklist, we have added the corresponding numbers that go to the tabs that are in your parent involvement notebook. The first item is staff development, which will go into your items 312. You must have your sign-in sheets. Please ensure that your agendas have the two-digit day, two-digit month, and four-digit year. Any notes that you have, maybe you have pictures or flyers, um, any printed materials that you have, maybe notes that were taken from the actual day, and any evidence. Their parent involvement receiver letters that will go out during conference week need to be placed in 3-6 of your parent involvement notebook. Many of you have several items that are translated. If any of your items are translated, please put those translated items into 3-1. Again, notes that you have or evaluations and evidence that you actually sent out those four documents will be the receiver letter. Also, your parent involvement school policy and the district policy will need to go into section 3.6 of your parent information binders and your school compacts will need to um, be placed into 3.8. Several of you have asked about the non-HQ letters. Please contact your local school secretary to collect any non-HQ letters for certified or classified staff members. This is an ongoing process, so if there is a new teacher or long-term sub that you notice in your building after November the 1st, you may wish to inquire to your secretary if that person has a non-HQ letter. So anytime new staff members come, feel free to ask your secretaries for that information. You will send a copy of that information to our office and you will place it in section 33. Our second item to review is your November 30th, 2015 document checklist. This is new to you, so this will come prepared on a blue or yellow envelope in the county mail. Again, I've added the corresponding tab numbers to each item. In tab 3-7, you'll need to place all of your school website information. You must have all of your documents placed on your school website by October 30th. This includes your school policy, compact, and designation letter. You will need to take a screenshot of each one of those items and send it to our office. In addition this year, we noticed that many of you did not have the Cobb County Title I office um, link on your pages. Please ensure that you use this link, which is forward slash central office forward slash Title I, in order for all of your parents to be able to easily be directed to the Title I website. We will need a screenshot of that also. Um, secondly, your Title I information should be very easy to find. There are many schools where we have to go to two to three clicks in order to find your Title I information. The maximum number of clicks should be two. That means if I go to your website, I should be able to see your um, just one tab that says Parents or Title I, and then the second click should take us right to this information, and I'll give you an example. Many of our schools have excellent examples of how easy it is to find your Title I information. For example, Smitha. On the home page, you have each tab. There is a tab here for Title I. So I've clicked one time to reach Smitha, and a second time to reach Title I, and all of the information is here with the school-wide plan, the compact, the policy, they were a reward school last year, so they have their reward school, their parents' right to know, the complaint procedures, and what does Title I mean. This is an excellent example of who to contact. Um, there are a few items here um, that need to be updated, and they also have their items provided in English and Spanish. Please work with your media specialist to ensure that your page is simply one click away and easy to find. After all of your website information is up to date, 
the next item we will need to have is your annual Title I information meeting. The next item will be placed into 312, the Engage One ticket out the door. We have gotten permission for our Tuesday talk for November to be held here at Rose Garden. The check-in time will be 8 o'clock and will pro start promptly at 8.30 and we will end at noon and this will give us an opportunity to actually work with our teams. And any information that you have for your monthly parent involvement activities will also go into 312. Okay, well that's all from our office. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day and you look for a way to engage one another.